Hello YouTube subscribers, today or tonight, whenever you're watching this, I am doing another horror movie review that I actually, uh, I did, uh, I did, uh, first review, I'm, I'm, re I'm pre-recording this on the same day that I dropped the first video, of uh, review, um, um, uh, so, because since I already have it fresh in my mind, I don't want to try and forget, try and do the second movie review on uh, the tomorrow, at, basically, today, and forget about it, and, and trying to, and since I forget about it, I don't, anyway, so, um, uh, saw, uh, uh, on Halloween night, Saw two movies. Went to two movies. And those two movies were Five Nights at Freddy's, which I did a review of yesterday. Uh very I know it's a very it was a very long review, but I'm sorry about that. Um and saw two slash X, which I dropped today, obviously. <laughs> um and the reason why I call this new Saul movie 2 slash 10 X whatever because even though it, it it does have X which it does stand for the number 10 it's it it's it stands in both areas that basically technically it does take place after and before the it does take place after the first movie and before the second movie so it does make it the second movie in the franchise and the actual second movie the third movie of the franchise because since Saul 10 does take place between those two to fill in apparently there was a gap I never knew there was a gap, but apparently there was a gap. So, it does make it the second movie in the franchise. But, it is the tenth movie of the franchise as well. Because there, because with this one, there's now ten movies. And, I also heard a rumor that it's finally confirmed. There are supposed to be two movies after this one. The, the 11th. One is supposed to take place to uh, to take place between two and three or three and, and four. Somewhere between there. And then the third one, the third sequel, is supposed to take place after four or five. So... Um, so, Saw 10, I actually enjoyed that one a lot more than Five Nights at Freddy's. I had a lot, sitting there watching Five Nights at Freddy's, I actually enjoyed it. Talking about it on the other hand, a lot of fucking issues with it. Rethinking about it a lot, even built more freaking issues with it. But... Saw 10. I liked it, the traps. I liked I liked it, the twist because I I should have known, but I didn't see it coming. Because I studied every horror character there ever is um front to back. And uh so I like the traps. I like all the traps. The theme of it, the the heart of it, the gore of it. Uh, this is something Five Nights at Freddy's should have had. The gore of Saul Ten, the 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 dark, greedy that Saul Ten had. <laughs> Basically, it is it is going back to its original roots. That since they did bring back John Kramer, the uh, the uh, and Amanda, 
um, I did not. I didn't know there was a post credit scene or not, so I basically left the theater room before I actually could, because I didn't want to wait, uh, because it was already getting dark as, as it was, so, um, so, uh, it was getting dark and late, so I wanted to get home as fast as possible, um, uh, so, uh, and, uh, and, uh, so, it, um, with the traps, the traps were good, I liked it. each of the trap, even the eye finger trap, even though that actually did not happen, sucks, kinda sucked, I guess, I have, n I, I don't know how to feel about that, I mean, it could, a theory of mine still could have happened, but to my friend, he believes that it still didn't happen because I'm I'm like, well, if you actually know John Kramer and hit, and if you actually believe his method, he watches over you. If he actually sees you actually starting to do one bad thing, or at least nearly to that point, he still watches over you. Yeah, that's basically a bad thing. I'm basically a stalker. But, uh, I'm like, he could have went back. He could have stolen it. And John Kramer knew about it. And they just ju real quickly jumped to that point between, uh, uh, between the moment he took it and the moment he put it back. And they actually showed you, uh, John Kramer taking them anyway, because, at any, because anyway, he still took the watch and ring, the ring, and probably a few other things along the way, and he, he, uh, he got his eyes sucked out, um, but, uh, um, Either other way, if it didn't happen, if it did happen, that trap was cool. The form, bomb, hand knife trap, that was cool. Um, my friend believed it was more of a soap opera than a song movie, which I could kind of see that it kind of felt more of a soap opera in a way, but it... it I kind of believe it had to be because the way the vibe it was going off with, try, uh, John Kramer going to, uh, going here and talking about uh, uh, going here and getting the cure and stuff. When you go to a hospital, it kind of feels like you are in a soap opera. Once you go into a hospital place, a emergency room, whatever. So. Um, it, it, one, and then one, once it actually gets to, like, the traps and what John has them go through, okay, I shatter my ankle, and when I see any movie, any horror movie, I can handle pain, like, like, when I watch a horror movie, I can get through it, no problem, but when it comes to a freaking leg, or someone freaking getting their fingers, freaking whatever, anything that does with fingers, or like, mm, I cannot freaking handle it, because I accidentally, one time, put my hand right here, well, basically, the part where the door the door, uh, um, lo uh, closes on the part that basically, uh, helps cl uh, keep the door closed, and, and the door, car door was open, and magically during, on the day of Christmas, it was cold, no wind or anything, bang! <laughs> Mm. 
Yep. And then I shattered my ankle years after. <laughs> luckily, my fingers are fine, and luckily, I had to, and I got surgery, so I'm fine on that part. Um, jump to now. Yes, it does agitate me. It does bug me when it comes to those fucking scenes. Get past that. I enjoy it. I, I still enjoy the movie. Um, because I get past that once I watch the movie over and over and over. Unless it's a new movie. Then it becomes my issue. Um, uh, my only problem is, is I get aging. It It's hard to age Amanda. Okay, John Kramer, the actor himself, he looks spot on. He looks perfect. I, I swear, wherever that man is doing, he looks like he, he, he could swear up and down he's aging. But is he really? Because the man looks freaking perfect. Like, like, like the dude just went from one movie to another. Like a year did not go by. Amanda. Hey. She still looks good. She looks great. But for this to take place between one and two. One and two. And for her to look like she did in one. Jump to this one. And then back to two. And the way she looked in two. That's a big stretch. A very big stretch. But I can understand to a certain point to a Saul fan who's going to give a shit. I'm a Saul fan, so once again, who's going to give a shit? To not a Saul fan and to a person who's just watching the movie, yes, of course they're going to have a problem with it because they're like, they age. This is not going to work. Just watch the damn movie. Have fun. If you're a true soul fan, like some people say, just enjoy it. So, um, like I do. I do have some problems with most soul movies, but I still enjoy them the way they are. Well, all but one. Um, and that's Jigs, uh, not Jigsaw, uh, Spiral, the Book of Saw, which I'll get to those reviews. Um, uh, basically, I said my negatives, I said my positive. I do like the story plot, I do like the storyline. I felt bad for John, really deeply, and it takes a lot for me to care about the psychopath. For the muttering God felt minding villain of the horror movies. I mean, I like villains. I like the horror villains. I like the slashers. Don't get me wrong. Big Chucky fan. But even while I'm watching Chucky, there's times I'm against them. <clears throat> so. Basically, that's it. I give Saul 2 slash 10 5 stars. 5 stars. Um, uh, uh, basically, my uh, if you ask me what out of any tra trap of the franchise, it's uh, of, of course, it's going to be the reverse bear mouth trap. The reverse bear mouth trap. That's going to be my number one favorite trap. But if you're asking specifically from Saul 10, it's basically going to be... It, that one's hard because it's like between the forearm bomb trap and the eye section trap. Um, 
I saw in the eye section trap made a really cool poster. So, um, so, uh, uh, so yeah, and, um, it is just, uh, Uh, but drop a comment down below. Anything Saw. What's your favorite Saw movie? Who's your favorite Saw character? Who's your favorite Saw, Saw survivor? Who's your favorite... What's your favorite Saw trap? What's your favorite um, Saw scene? My favorite Saw scene? Uh, every time when Billy comes in. Billy the Puppet. It doesn't matter. When when it comes to the scene when Billy the Puppet comes in. Spot on. It's like watching. To me, it, it, it's like. On the side of John Kramer. Uh, the actor that plays John Kramer. Comes into the Saw franchise. That's like how it is with the Billy Puppet. I do like John. As a character. But. And I do like his scenes, but you get more of Billy the Puppet, which I get it because that's kind of his vision, how he sees himself as a godlike character. So, uh, any scene with Billy the Puppet, I go, I, I go fanatic over. Um, what's your favorite? Um. What's your favorite emotional scene from the Saw franchise? Like, uh, mine, re if you ask me from this movie, it was the scene with John and the boy. Uh, because in Saw 10, I was holding my breath. I knew John was going to survive, but I was very panicking over the boy, and I knew John would not, would not, would hesitate killing the boy, and not kill the boy, but I was still holding my breath, worrying, crying over the boy, because I had, I, I just, I don't know, I don't know, when it comes to those scenes, I just, no, I just cannot handle those type of scenes, unless it's a little, Dipshit that means to hate, then fine. But when it's somebody that you have to that you care actually care for, then yeah, no, do not like those type of scenes. But if you ask me from another movie, mm, I can't really say for for at this moment for sure. Uh, but, um, uh, but what's yours, if you actually have a f favorite emotional scene, scene from the Saw franchise, just anything, anything of Saw, drama, uh, drama, uh, drop it down below in the comments, push that like button if you liked it, this video. Hit that dislike button if you dislike this video. Um, if you're a newcomer, please hit that su subscribe and follow button uh, to watch more of my videos. I welcome all new and old subscribers with open arms. If you're a old subscriber, welcome back. And once again, like I said yesterday, thank you, thank you, thank you a lot a to all of you to at least allow me to have 188 subscribers on my channel. You, I, I mean, I would not be doing this channel if it wasn't for you guys. I mean that. Have a nice night. Have a nice day. Whenever you're watching this, peace.